Hi everybody, so today here at Evenbrook we're going to give you a little tour, like in case you've never been here before or maybe you're a regular customer, whatever it is you are, we're ready to show you Evenbrook today on this Saturday and kind of give you a good path that you can take while you're walking around. Alright, so let's head inside. And here we have the front showroom. We always have a couple displays that we, you know, kind of set up and everything that's mostly Brad. He's very good at decorating. <laughs> and so, uh, well, this is actually set up by Charles and Alexis, and we'll get to their booths or showcases in just a moment. So after we come into the front showroom, we'll go over here. You can see the front counter right up there. And, um, you know, got a lot of popular vendors right as you walk in, of course. And Mr. Hamrick has a very iconic booth. A lot of people really like his stuff that he has in here. Very rustic antiques, handmade items. Is Mr. Hamrick here? Hello, Mr. Hamrick. How are you today? All right, over here we have some handmade jewelry, very popular for our customers. You know. Oh yeah, good point, Amber. These palm crosses, um, I'm assuming they're handmade. Well, I think they're all. Yeah, these are like miniature ones in case you want to carry just one in your pocket. And then this one is, you know, one like in the picture that you can hold it if you ever feel like you need some peace or anything. Jesus will be with you. So, and then we have more handmade jewelry right there. Oh, this one's cute. It's very beachy, very summery. This booth, um, I know them to be like very seasonal because every single season that comes, they completely redo their booth to that theme of that season. So it's absolutely lovely and it's just so cute. Look at all the little beachy stuff. Here we got Al, um, she's an amazing artist, uh, self-taught, learned everything herself, you know. Um, we got, she uses watercolor pencils and uh, graphite, mostly graphite, and let's see, I don't know if she has any ink, I don't think she has any ink, but it's mostly, mostly graphite and some watercolor pencils, and it's all very nostalgic types of art. <laughs> and right through here we have Table and Roots, we'll just do a quick walk through. Hi Brandon! Uh, good, how are you? So we have, you know, some like uh, nostalgic candies and stuff, some good music playing, jellies and jams and milks and popcorn. My mom is obsessed with popcorn in here. It's Amish popcorn. It pops very well, tastes delicious. It's unique to other types of popcorn that you would just get at Walmart. So, and the milk. Yeah, Brandon says don't forget the milk. And Brad McCullough, ask him about the chocolate milk. It's an addiction. So, it's really good. Um, but thanks for letting us look around, Brandon. You have a good rest of your day. Thanks, you too. Right here, we have Rock Barn candles. This stuff smells amazing. It's some of my favorite stuff. At Frosted Sea Glass. I'm assuming, oh, he also does seasonal stuff. So, like, you know, if it's winter, it's very Christmassy scents. If it's fall, it's very cinnamony, pumpkin scents. It makes you think of Halloween, Thanksgiving. This was frosted sea glass. So I'm assuming it's like made for uh, summer. Sea salt and lily. Uh, after the rain. Oh, I bet that smells good. All right, so we love, we love his candles. There's some more little classic antiques. Uh, Kayla's favorite lounge chair. She'll model that for us. <laughs> yeah, okay, get it. <laughs> that could be yours. Now, in this room, it's mostly Odyssey gift items. Um, you know, they have their iconic signs, all these flags that everybody is obsessed with, and the magazine. So these are our new restrooms and we'll get some signs made up here soon so yeah back through here we have Alexis's uh, showcase you know Alexis is right here in this uh, showcase and also right over here it's kind of a connecting thing and she has you know so many just rustic antiques Dom actually <laughs> loves Alexis's booth
like I was saying, super rustic antiques. Uh, they look amazing in anybody's house. There's always a good decoration piece in here. It's very eclectic and unique and stuff that only Alexis is able to find. All right, right here we have, you know, everybody knows about the farmhouse paint. And this is actually the showcase for the people that provide us with farmhouse paint. Um, you know, you can tell just by on these chairs how smooth the paint goes on, how it dries nice and matte. It uh, takes one coat to do something. Like Amber redid a vanity. And Amber, do you want to come over here and tell us more about your vanity? Because she used farmhouse paint and it was, it looks fabulous. Yes, right. I got a vanity, I don't remember what booth I got it from, but it was in the back showroom. Um, and I bought it and it was kind of... It was not, nasty. It was not... No, it wasn't nasty. It wasn't nasty, but <laughs> it was just... The paint was kind of not holding up very well that was on it. And so I got some of this farmhouse paint. I got cotton white uh, and I got a quart. And I only, I didn't even use half of the quart and I was able to paint the whole vanity in one coat. And it looked yeah. so awesome and I love using it every morning and it's just great. And use. Dawn, she used, and we'll see Dawn in just a second over at Church's Corner, but she used um, the rest of the quart. Or I don't think she even used the rest, she didn't use of, the rest it. of it. She took, we have this shiplap wall right when you walk into our, into our house and she painted it the other night uh, with the same white. Took two coats because it was like, you know, un, it was like just wood and so it soaked it up. But um, it took two coats and there's still some left in the canister. Like it lasts forever. It's such a good paint. It's a very good paint. I yes. love you. <laughs> All right, so definitely check out this showcase and ask more about farmhouse paint because we love using it. We recommend it to everybody. As Brad says, it's the Cadillac of furniture paint and it makes everybody look like a professional. All right, so we'll move on to Sue's booth. She has also got her summer items out with all, you know, kind of you can tell this is her spring stuff that she had in here and now she's moving into her summer stuff. All of her stuff is handmade. She makes everything that's on here. And also, uh, this is the only place that you can get it for these prices. These are Sue's prices. And, um, you know, while you can find Sue's stuff at other, uh, you know, vendor shops, um, they'll all be marked up. And so Evenbrook is definitely the place you want to come to to get Sue's original items for her prices. And also, you get to enjoy the Evenbrook vibe. So definitely stop by, check out Sue's booth because it's just absolutely lovely. We love, we love Sue. Right over here, we have Trisha's Corner, and um, this is where you can come to just chill out, eat some lunch, get some coffee. Uh, we got Dawn, uh, and Helena works over here too on Saturdays, and um, yeah, it's just you can. It's always so delicious what they have to offer. They have tons of sandwiches. You can see the menu is huge, so there's tons of sandwiches and coffees and snacks and pastries. <laughs> but yeah, stop by Trisha's Corner for a nice little relaxation time. All right, we'll go back to the back showroom now and show that off. So, you know, this is the surprising part of Evenbird because when people first walk in, they're like, oh, this isn't that bad. And then they get back here and they're like, holy cow, there's all this left. And this isn't even the whole thing yet. Yeah, in a good way. It's fun. It's not a bad surprise. It's a very good surprise. So, yeah, over here you've got Kathy Cruz. Hi, how are y'all today? I'm good, thank you. All right, yeah, we got some jewelry right here. These always come through. They're so unique and so fun to look at. And, you know, um, like, it makes, this makes me think of the movie Inside Out. It makes me think of like the little emotions, you know? Oh, Kayla's excited. I think she wants to come look at it. Oh wait, what did you find, Kayla? Hang on, let's go see what Kayla has found. It's a football helmet phone. I'm a fan of football, but. It's so kitsch. I love it. Okay. <laughs> All right. You know, we got a lot of sign vendors, uh, super cute signs. Uh, lots of sayings on it that people relate to. Um, you know, a lot of eclectic booths and everything that have 
all sorts of just cute stuff in them. Over here to one of my favorite vendors. This is Tony, uh, her booth. If you were watching our live one night, um, you know, Tony's bound to show up. And we actually did do a live where we talked to Tony. And um, she kind of showed us around her booth. You know, over here she's got her uh, very girly, princessy area. It's, um, you know, princess house glasses and dishware and all these little dolls are so pretty. And then over here you have your kind of, you know, farmhouse, warm wood, uh, nostalgic uh, southern area. Um, you know, right here is the colonial blue that she called it. She painted this lamp and you wouldn't even be able to tell. It's spray paint and you can't even tell because it looks it looks fabulous. And Tony is very talented with stuff like that. Like this, you wouldn't even guess this, but one of the vendors in here sells these little scrubby things. Well, she is just so crafty and she took a scrubby, dipped it in paint and dabbed it on here and it almost gives it like a lace type pattern. Like who would have thought of that? Only Tony. So yeah, back to the colonial blue. Uh, this is, you know, this gives me very old Salem vibes, like very, you know, colonial and classic looking. And this is another little girly area, very pink and adorable little girl. Like and over here, she calls it her comfy area because she has always got some type of little chair right there, a bunch of blankets and lamps. That's my favorite area because I, I'm a sucker for a good lamp. So I always like that area. But yeah, that's Tony's, that's Tony's showcase. Right here, uh, Kayla can definitely tell us about this because I'm uneducated on plants, but Kayla. Yes. Um, I'm in love with this vendor. She has such cute little air plants and marimo moss balls. Um, they're so easy to take care of. With the marimo moss, you just change the water um, every couple of weeks and leave it in indirect sunlight. And air plants, you just mist them every other day. Uh, make sure they're having some nice sunlight and they're so easy to take care of. And they add just like a little bit of green to your room, your house wherever you want to leave them, um, and they're so cute, and I'm in love with this one, and like the way the jar is, and all the different stuff in it, so, I can add it to my wish list, <laughs> the four million other plants I've bought from her. Well, it's so, so well priced too, like this whole thing is just $25, mm -hmm. like including the glass. Her prices are very reasonable. <laughs> I like this little dude right here, yeah, he's kind of cute. cute. And she has like little wooden pieces around too, like this little guy. I like this dude. I like um, these air plant stands or wood. And then she has these little geode stands. Um, they're very cute. Mm -hmm. Just add a little bit of color. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to leave Kayla's favorite booth, sadly. <laughs> and we're going to look here at Farm to Charm. This furniture is painted by, or not painted by, but um, this booth is from Debbie, and we're going to meet her in a, little, a couple minutes uh, when we go down to Brooks Nest and visit her boutique. But it's painted by Brian, and they use the farmhouse paint like we were talking about previously. And as you can tell, it's obviously great paint. It sits well on these, on these pieces, and it just it looks amazing in any setting. And Kayla was talking earlier about how she loves this table. It's just a perfect height. It is the perfect height. I'm so <laughs> it's like comfortable because you know if you don't want to have to sit down or anything it's just very easy to be standing and doing what you need to do or let's see how easy it is to sit. <laughs> yeah well we love all this stuff in here and also Debbie uh, the Farm to Charm has these really popular wax melts. They're a dollar a piece, and for these huge, huge things, and they smell so good. And oh, these smaller ones are only 50 cents. So stock up. And we got the little wax uh, melter as well for eight dollars. So perfect. And all these cute little knickknacks and giblets. Oh. These are also super popular in yes. her booth. Yes. So many, I've seen so many people like take them, kind of mm -hmm. drape them over a bowl, it's kind of like sitting for um, table decoration. Literally anything, the beads match it. Yes, so they're <laughs> very cute. Only the big ones like this are $10. So. Not bad Super at all. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Arnold. Ooh, it looks like an Arnold to me. It has to be Arnold. And there's a little buddy. Yeah, we gotta look at the turtle. With some sneakers. His name is for sure Frederick. Yes, absolutely. Look at his little tennis shoes. <laughs> like, look at his tennis shoes. <laughs> <laughs> he is only six dollars, so he could, Frederick could be yours. He needs a home. Okay. <laughs> And we also saw this vanity on an earlier walkthrough, and Amber and Kayla, it just caught their eye, and they really liked the way it looked. It is so bright and colorful, and it's just very well painted. Mm -hmm. uh, and the thing is, all the items are really Yeah. <laughs> all right, now we're going to our next section because Evenbrook. You, honestly, you need a full day to come through Evenbrook. Uh, it's very hard to get it done in a couple minutes. A, a walkthrough really takes at least a full hour. Like, to really look at stuff. Obviously, we're doing it quicker than an hour because we work here. <laughs> and so we see stuff all the time. But honestly, even though we work here, I, there's something completely different that comes through every day. I've never seen it before. Somebody bring up something, and I'm like, how? On? It's like this giant item. And I'm like, where on earth was this? Like, what was right over there? I didn't see it, <laughs> Brad didn't see it, none of us saw it, so it's like new stuff every single day, and also if you see something, a little tip would be go ahead and get it, because it, stuff rarely stays, and Looky looks there. like Brad is coming this way, hey, well, hello, that is Evenbrook himself, Mr. Evenbrook, I hope y'all are enjoying your tour yes. with, uh, with the young folks, I'm going to leave it in their hands, you're in good hands with it. Come see us soon though, look forward, to, <laughs> look forward to seeing you next time you stop in. Yeah, for sure. See, now who wouldn't want to work with Brad? Like, he's, <laughs> Brad is uh, our father and Ethan and Kayla's uncle. And we all work together on Saturday, so it's a super fun environment and everybody's welcome and we'd love for you to come by. So, all right, with that aside, let's go into our next showroom and we'll show you some cool things over there. All right, right in here, we have Charles Cole's booth. Uh, he is very well versed with um, a lot of French antiques, European antiques. Alright, and over here we have Mary Ann's booth. She has a lot of really cute eclectic items. So definitely take a look at Mary Ann's booth. And Amber is going to tell us more about Sweet Southern Sass. It's one of our boutiques in here. If you walk uh, past where we were just over there, you will reach Sweet Southern Sass, which is one of the two boutiques located here at Evenbrook. Um, and it's owned by Miss Jennifer, who's over here, and Miss Angie. Uh, and they just have so many good options that you can either dress up or dress down. And there's some good comfy options and some really uh, more fancy and dressy little items. So everything is just super nice and so pretty. Um, and we have some shoe options. These very pretty cute little sandals over here. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, accessories as well other than just the clothes that they offer. Uh, so you see these little keychains and bracelets and whatnot. Uh, and there's a bunch of hats and it's just so many good options. Uh, and so you're definitely gonna find something good that you're gonna love when you come into here. Uh, so definitely take, uh, take a stop by and see what you can find. Okay, so now we're going to head out of this showroom, go back into the back showroom and kind of take a separate way and we're going to check out the other boutique that we have, Brooks Nest. So let's go. I just wanted to say, this is very funny. Your opinion is not part of the recipe. I just think that's funny. It's like, I really like the stuff in here. Like, look at these, this is so cute, so sassy.
Brooks Nest, and here we have Debbie. She runs this little boutique on the other side of the store. So um, right off the bat, you already see she's got some awesome pants. Cheetah print or leopard print, whatever you whatever you like. Um, you know, more leopard print, more leopard print stuff for all of our leopard print lovers out there. Uh, really cute ripped jeans. Look at these; they're adorable. And right in here, we have got the Myra bags, super popular. Um, I know my mom has one, has two. She has two? Yeah, a brown one and a green one. And um, she has multiple of these straps. So we've got straps for every occasion, and this is a pretty casual strap, you know, or we've got a little, a little bedazzlement going on if you've got something fancy to go to. So uh, yeah, so many things to choose from over here. And you know, we got a good selection of bralettes right there, more leopard print. Uh, hang on, sorry, just look at this dress for a second. This is adorable. And I saw this actually on their Instagram. Uh, follow them at Brooks Nest on Instagram and Facebook. So uh, yeah, we got these shorts. Look how adorable they are. These could be formal or casual. It works so many ways. So over here, one of mine and Kayla's favorite uh, parts of the boutique. Uh, the jewelry. It's from Tessia. So Kelly, you want to talk about it? You know quite a bit. Um, I actually have some very similar kinds of earrings as these little rainbows. They're super cute. Super I got them for her for her birthday. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and you're welcome. She's a little wear. Her earrings are actually made of clay. So, and these are super cute. <laughs> um, yeah, I and mean, then yeah. her rings. I'm wearing two of her rings yeah. right now. I'm wearing one. <laughs> but her rings, um, she takes like these like little pistols and I wrap some in wire, so everything is very minimal. Yeah. And very reasonable prices. Oh yeah, for sure, and it's adorable. Like, yeah. look at these little organic shapes. Look how cute that is. And you can find her on Instagram and Facebook at Totally Tessia, um, and her website too at TotallyTessia.com, and Oh, teenagers, you can find her on TikTok too. At hey, yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, TikTok's the place to be. Yeah, so uh, just Brooks Nest has got tons of stuff inside, you know, anything casual to, you know, formal. So stop by, say hey to Debbie if she's in here. She's, she's always in here. So, <laughs> and uh, yeah, they got something for everybody in here. So definitely check it out. All right, now we're going to head back up to the front counter and we'll see you there. I guess you've seen the majority of Ethanbrook, and obviously we weren't able to show everything because this video would be hours long if we did. So um, if you want to check out more, see some stuff that maybe you saw in the background that we didn't talk about, come on by. We're open from um, 9 to 5, Monday through Saturday, and on Tuesdays and Wednesdays we're open till 8. So it's a little special treat on those days. You can stop by a little later and hang out for a little longer. So definitely stop by on any day. We'd love to see you. We'd love to have you. Everybody's welcome. So yeah, we hope to see you soon.